interesting because in America, at least, um, 53% of the babies born to women under 30 are born to single mothers. So that is the majority of women, um, babies born to women under 30 are born to single mothers. And yet we still somehow it, in America continue to view single motherhood as this exotic, weird choice. Um, and the the stigma or the prejudice against single mothers are the sort of crude stereotypes we have in, the, in our heads of how awful single mothers are for children um, continue to persist. And I, I was thinking about something that happened to a friend of mine, a single mother. She went to a party with her one-year-old and there were a lot of kids running around, people she, she didn't know very well. Um, but again, in a sort of liberal New York world. And the host took her aside afterward and he said, I just want you to know, Finn is always welcome in our house. And obviously she felt very chilled by this comment because no one would ever say that to a child with two married parents. Obviously, why would a one-year-old not be welcome in your house? It's like saying some of my best friends are Jewish. It was a well-intentioned comment kind of revealing these vast stores of prejudice. And I think people have a lot of trouble still, not just you know right-wing conservatives who we know have trouble with this, or Mitt Romney who says single mothers are responsible for all you know the rise in violent crime in America, but rather everybody or many people across lots of different class and education spectrums continue to have a lot of difficulty with the idea that a woman is both a mother and sort of a sexual free agent. So the fact that somebody is sexual and a mother is so, or sort of living her life outside of the traditional structure of marriage and family. Um, we have so much trouble with that idea that there's all this sort of weird personal reverberations. And it sounds like I'm being very sensitive to these small comments. You know, who really cares if somebody says, you know, Finn is always welcome in our house. But the truth is in these small, it is in those small comments that a cultural climate is created. And you are raising your child into those attitudes that are expressed really casually over a glass of wine, like somebody didn't mean to say something terrible to you, but that terrible thing is in your head. And I find a lot of single mothers are apologizing constantly. They have to account for their situation They say, oh, I thought he was gonna stick around. I didn't realize it was gonna turn out this way. They feel like they have to apologize to this sort of invisible, um, you know, inquisitor, and I, I think that's wrong. And I think it's about, it's time for the larger culture to, to begin to look a lot more um, carefully and with a lot more intelligent scrutiny at their own motivations, fantasies, um, and prejudices.